amazing creature, Spider-Man. You and I are not so different. I'm not like you. Welcome to Story Skeptic. Last time I talked about writing for screenwriters, I talked about the three pillars of making a good protagonist, which were empathy, want and need. So I think it's just fitting to make one for the villain, the antagonist. Antagonists doesn't have to be a villain, a person. It can, for example, be a monster like in Aliens. It can be an animal like uh, the shark in Jaws. It can be the storm in uh, the day after tomorrow. If it's one of those things, these pillars won't be necessary. The most common is to have a person. Then let's dive into it. Well done, Mr. Powers. We're not so different, you and I. Part one, it's all about antipathy. That's just uh, the opposite of empathy. Trying to make us dislike the character. This is usually done in the same way as we get to like the main character. Early on, you just show the villain doing something mean. It would be a main character would save the cat, a villain would kill it. Now, why do we want to have antipathy for the antagonist? That's simply because we're human, we want to pick a side. And naturally, if you're not like a psychopath, you're gonna pick the good side. And a just simple way to do this is to create empathy for the protagonist and just opposite, antipathy for the villain. You're lower than a rattler. Oh, come now, my cantankerous friend. We're not so different, you and me. Then I have the second pillar, which is goal. A bit unlike the protagonist's second pillar, where I wrote want, but I wrote goal here right away because I feel a villain is a couple of steps ahead of the protagonist for several reasons. It gives them a head start and makes the protagonist the underdog, and we all love ourselves an underdog, and they already know what they want. They're either just started working on the goal or they just started executing their big evil plan. And this will drag the main character into it. The only thing that is important with the goal is it has to be in conjunction with the main character, with the protagonist. It has to be the exact opposite. Both can't get what they want. Or they have the same goal, but two vastly different ways of how to reach that goal. Hermano. Then at the third pillar and the most one of the most important, I think you don't really need it if you just want a flat and iconic villain to just be mean, but it's motive. Like why are, does your villain want to rob the bank? Is it because he has he needs the money for a good cause? Why does he want to destroy the world? Uh, just give them a motive, and there's often a lot of backstory there. It can be even more backstory than with the main character. Something bad happened to them and now they want revenge, redemption, some sort of justice for what happened to them. And it's the best type of villain is the one you understand. It's like you might not understand why he's doing all the stuff they're doing in the first part of the movie. But when they eventually meet the main character, we understand and we can even sympathize with them. If you nail that last pillar, they can be quite interesting, the main, the main villains, even more than the protagonist because of their flaws, because they're not perfect and all of that. And it's so obvious. So we, and they're often wounded really bad. They have a trauma. They have, there's something that makes them so evil. And that's why more movies are making like anti-heroes, which is basically in a traditional film would be the villain. But that's the thing about villains. It's all about perspective. If we're following the Joker, the Batman would be the antagonist. So that's the three pillars. And you see these three pillars, there isn't that much difference. And then there you get that trope where the ma villain said, says that to the main character. We're not so different, you and I. And that's true. If you make a good antagonist, they're quite the same. Okay, that's it for this week and make sure to like, subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss next week's video where I will be talking about Nomadland. I wish you all a great week and see you in the next one. You and I are very much alike. <laughs>